Hello, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take your transcript and notes from your Air Agents recording and put it into Go High Level and the contacts in there. So the first step is you're going to go over to Go High Level and you're going to go to Automations and you're going to create a workflow. You're just going to start from scratch. Okay, so now you're going to press Add New Workflow Trigger and you're going to do Inbound Webhook. So now you're going to go back to Eric and forget about this for a second. You're going to go over here and then to Integrations. You're going to Client API. And then make a new API key. Make sure it's a new one. Press down, uh, You copy it. Then you go to Webhooks. Create Webhook. Post Call Data. And then you're, in the bear token, you're going to put the thing you just copied. So the API key. And then you're going to go back over here. Copy this and put it in the webhook URL and then create. Perfect, so that's connected. So now we're gonna have to test this out. So we're gonna go over to create, get on one of our agents. Gonna put in my name. All right, so now that's calling. Hello? Hey, Joey. Hey, who is this? This is Alexander from Nova Echo. Perfect. So you only need to be on there for a second. Now you're going to go back here, and when you press Fetch Sample Requests, oh, it didn't show up. So let me do it one more time just to make sure. Sometimes that happens. If it doesn't work the first time, just do it again and make sure that you talk a little bit with the agent. Hello? Hey, Joey. Hey, who is this? Good, you? That's all I need. Now I'm going to go here. And there we go. So you're going to click on here. And then it's going to give you all this information. So down here, you know, you know, it's all just random jargon. But up here, you have the lead name. You have the from number, the to number. You have a human answering, right? So this is some of the important information. So you're going to press save trigger. But you don't really need to know it, right? And then you're going to cre press create or update contact. So that should be automatic. But that's what you're going to do. Press add field, do name, go full name, inbound webhook trigger, call, and then we're going to scroll down. Now I believe it's LLM answered by, but it could also be uh, lead name. So you want to test those both out, but I think it's this one, so I'm just going to put that for the name. And then the phone. Uh, this one I'm sure about. So this one you go inbound webhook trigger, call, and then two number. So that's going to be the phone. Uh, and you're going to press save action and save. So now we have to set up the chat GPT. So we're going to go here. We're going to go chat GPT. And then this is going to go at point one. And then you're going to insert this into the prompt. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys this in the description below. So you can go and copy and paste it if you want. Uh, you can also change this up. But this is just going to give you a general overview of what happened during the call. Obviously, if you want to pull out specific information like address or how much money they make or something like that, you want to add that to ChatGPT and make sure it understands that. But this is just a general transcript. So now you're going to scroll up to where it says insert transcript, and you're going to delete this. Keep the quotations, though. And you're going to press this right here, this tag, inbound webhook trigger, call. You're going to scroll down and press transcript. Okay, so now you're going to press save action. And then the last step is to go here and you press and you add notes. So add to notes, custom value. You're going to go down to ChatGPT over this and then response. So what this means is the inbound webhook trigger is going to send the transcription over to ChatGPT. ChatGPT, as you can see, is going to grab it right here, use the prompt to get all the relevant information, and then it's going to create a contact with that person. Then a note is going to be added to the contact with ChatGPT's response. So there you have it. That's the entire thing. Now, one thing I will say that is important is that this is going to cost you a lot of money if you leave it the way it is. Because ChatGPT costs money every single time you use it. So what I would recommend is having an if then, and you put right here, you put inbound webhook trigger, call, and then you scroll down a little bit, and duration. So duration is, great, is greater than or equal to 45. So this is seconds, right? So if the duration is greater than or equal to 45 seconds, then all this will happen.
If not, it won't happen. This way, if your call is two seconds long, it's not going to try to give you a transcript and use your money. Because I think it's around three cents uh, per ChatGPT use. That's going to add up really, really quick if you have hundreds or thousands of calls per day going out, right? So this way, and you can set this for for whatever you want, obviously. But I highly recommend somewhere around 45 seconds. That way, you're only getting the high-quality calls um, transcripted. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. And if you have any more questions, you can always leave a comment or just tag me on Discord. And I really appreciate if you sign up using the link in my description to air. It'll give you priority calling. It'll give you priority servers, dedicated servers. Actually, it'll be an entirely new queue away from the general public. It'll also give you priority air support. And it's going to give you access to new beta features before anybody else. And it helps me out as well. And I really appreciate that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a good day.